Hello and welcome back to the channel and today I will be continuing the Madden Season Sim Playoffs. And then, well, before I get into the video, here's the look at the bracket. So, we have number 7 seed Ravens facing the number 1 seed Chiefs. And the number 6 seed Raiders facing number 5 seed Chargers. And then the number 6 seed Giants versus the number 1 seed 49ers. And the number 4 seed Bears versus number 2 Cowboys. As... You know, the biggest blowout of last week, or wildcard week, is the Raiders versus Jaguars, which makes this one seem interesting because Chargers can get anything going on offense, but they still beat the Bills. But that's not what this episode is. This episode's going to be Chiefs versus Ravens. We saw the Ravens beat a uh, you know, high-powered Bengals team, so we'll see if they can do it again. They're the Cinderella team at the moment. And now we will get into it. Alright, so the first game, the divisional round, the Baltimore Ravens versus the Kansas City Chiefs. There you know you gotta get into super super sim mode. Slow. In end of game and the Chiefs are gonna receive the ball first and this will be the first time we get to see the Chiefs offense and here comes Patrick Mahomes I don't know when I'll show it here it goes so on season he had almost four four thousand five hundred yards he had 36 touchdowns and seven interceptions so pretty good year for the quarterback right there and he's hoping to lead his team to another Super Bowl. Seeing that the Eagles are out, it'll be against a different opponent if they do make it. On the first play, Mahomes going to find someone deep down the middle for a gain of 20. That would be James. I don't know the dude's first name, but it's definitely James is his last name. Mahomes in shotgun, Pacheco to his right. Mahomes going to drop back, so look for a man. He's going to throw it to the right, and it's picked off! Oh, and that's a costly interception that might be taken to the house. And it will pick six for the Ravens. He was looking for his man. Okay, Hamilton just had ghosts attack him or something. But he just read it fully. He threw it, thought he had an open man, and Hamilton jumped the route. That is not how you expect the number one seed to start a game. It hasn't even been a minute and there's already a score. So the Ravens kicked the PAT to make it a seven point game. And if you're a Ravens fan, you are definitely excited because this is how you want to start a game on defense. I don't know if they had pressure in his face or Mahomes might have just made a bad read, but... Ravens got the pick, and Chiefs are going to come back out on offense for a second drive. And this kick's going to get returned up to 25, so it would have been the same as a touchback. Let me get closer to Mike. So out comes Mahomes again. He threw a pick last time. Mahomes going to drop back. He's going to scramble right, or left, actually, and he's going to get sacked by Jadavion Clowney. That's a loss of 13, so this Ravens defense is definitely taking it to the Chiefs. So Jadavion Clowney was a pickup in the offseason. It was a really good one for the Ravens, because I do believe in both the games he's played, he's you know made an impact. So now they're down at the 12, second and 23. As Mahomes is going to drop back, he's going to look for me. He's going to throw it over the middle. He has his receiver number 11, who's going to get about 12 yards on the play. So, oh, that was uh, about his scantling. So it's a good pickup to cut the, you know, third down and half. So it's third and 11 at 24. Mahomes dropping back. He's going to throw it over the middle, and it's swatted down by number six.
the announcer on the stadium said that it was intended for Kelsey, and the Chiefs are going to have to punt. So the number one team in uh, the AFC had to, on the first drive, threw a pick six, on the second drive punted. That is not how you expect them to start, as it's going to get returned to about the 32. And out comes Lamar Jackson. 2019 MVP, I believe. Yeah, 2019 MVP. And he had 3,000 yards passing, 28 touchdowns, and 8 interceptions. So not... I mean, that, that's good stats, but, you know, not, like, elite level. As he hands it off to number 21, who has some space, and he's going to get about 9 yards on the carry. So it was Dobbins. Jackson shotgun. He's going to fake the handoff. He's looking for me. He's going to throw it over the middle and he has off the mark. He had Andrews open. He was able to get some separation, but uh, Lamar just threw it off the mark. Makes his third and one at the 41. And they are going to hand it off to Dobbins again, who's going to get the first down and just trucks Chris Jones. He just bulldozed him. And he gained about eight yards. Now it's first and ten at the fifty. As Lamar drops back, he's going to throw it quick pass to Andrews for a gain of four. So on both of his attempts, he's targeted Andrews. So second and six at the forty-six. Lamar is going to drop back. He's going to throw it over the middle again, and that was complete. Okay, I thought it was incomplete. But that was a completion to Aguilar, who gets the first down. And it's first and 10 at 38. And he hands it off to Dobbins again, who gets about four yards. So right now he's averaging seven yards per carry, which is really good for running back. Jackson shotgun. He's going to hand it off to the on Dobbins this time. Oh, yeah, it was. Okay. I like totally misread the number. I thought it said something different. But Dobbins carried it for about two yards, so it makes it third and four at the 32. Jackson gonna drop back. He's going to throw it to the right, and it's knocked down. I didn't see who knocked it down. Number 21. Makes it fourth and four at the 32, and they're most likely going to bring out the field goal unit. I mean, when you have the best kicker in the game at the moment, you'd want to take the points when you can. And the kick is up, and it is good. So the score is now 10 to 0 as the Ravens are able to get points on their first drive. The Ravens are going to kick it off to the Chiefs, who are hoping to get something going on offense. And he's going to return it, takes it to about the 20, and gets tackled right there. Now it's first and ten at the twenty. Mahomes and the crew coming out, looking to at least make it to fifty, show that they can gain yards. And it's going to be a play action. It's going to throw it to the right, and that's going to be number one tackled for loss. And there's an injury on Kansas City. Donovan Smith looks to be something on his wrist, so we'll be taken to the locker room, be examined. Which makes it 2nd and 13 at the 17. Mahomes going to drop back. He's looking for a man. He's going to drop that roll right. He's going to throw it over. Throw it across his body. I was going to say over his body, but that doesn't make sense. And James caught it. So he has two receptions, 32 yards. My dog just sneezed. So it's 3rd and 1. He's going to do a quick pass to the left. And that is oh, Kadarius Tony <laughs> for a first down. So I'm recording this after week one, and you know I can already tell that this is inaccurate because he didn't drop that. Watch him come out like week two and beyond and be like Prime Megatron. 
And he's going to do, Mahomes going to do a quick pass to the right. That would be about a gain of seven. Makes it second and three at the 48. I didn't see who caught it. It was James on the catch. Mahomes going to drop back. He's looking for a man. He's going to roll right, and he's going to get sacked, and he fumbles it, and the Ravens recover it. Jadavian Clowney on the fumble recovery. It doesn't say who got the sack. So number 90 got the sack. I can't see the name on his back. So the Ravens are doing everything right this at least so far in this game. The Chiefs have no answer. And they've already turned the ball over twice, and it's only the first quarter. As Jackson's going to drop back, he's going to throw it to the right. He had a man on a slant. We gain about seven. So Aguilar was the receiver. So it's second and three at the 35. Jackson hands it off, and he has Dobbins, and he has space, and that might go for the, and that's a touchdown. So a simple handoff went all the way to the end zone, 27-yard run for number 27. Actually, I don't know if it was 27 yards. Excuse me, 37 yards, or 35, in the 30s. And right now, the Ravens are doing everything right. I know I already said that, but it is true. They've only run 10 plays, and they're already up 17-0. So Chiefs fans are distraught. They have no idea what's going on with their team right now. But Baltimore can... They have a really good opportunity to knock off the Chiefs dynasty right now. As Chiefs are going to return it to about the 22. Makes it first and 10 at the 22. So Mahomes has been sloppy with the ball recently, or at least this game. He's got a pick six and a fumble, both led to points, as a pick six normally would. Mahomes can drop back. He's going to throw it right. He has his... Well, I totally forgot the word receiver. He had his receiver open, who gets first down. He fought for 12 yards. Makes it first and ten at thirty-four. And Mahomes gonna drop back. He's gonna throw a quick screen, and he has room, but his blocker got in his way. And it was gain of about ten. Makes it first and ten at the forty-four. Mahomes gonna drop back. He's gonna throw it to the right, and he has his man open. And that's a first down. There's an injury to Baltimore, number 54, Tyus Bowser. There's Valdez Scantling on the reception. So it looks to be something with his leg, and he will be taken to the locker room. Mahomes under center now. Looks like a change of play at the line. He's going to fake the handoff. He's going to roll left and throw it, and it is caught for a three-yard gain. Makes a second and seven at the 40. James with the reception. Mahomes on the center, dropping back. He's going to throw it to the right, and he had Kelsey open for a s about a three-yard gain. So it's third and fourth to 36. He's going to drop back. He's going to throw a quick screen pass to Pacheco, who's going to get the first down and a little bit more. And jukes a man, and he gets down to the 25. Makes a first and 10 at the 25. So the Chiefs are driving right now. Can they finish it off with a touchdown or at least a field goal? So I think they've only passed this game. As Mahomes is looking for a man. He looks right and it's just oof. Just over the hands of number 17. Like, had he lowered that ball, that would have definitely been a reception and definitely would have been a touchdown. 
Mahomes looking for a man. He's going to roll right and throw it, and it's number 17 again, so he got his catch for about seven yards. And 17 is James. i got to remember that because he's been his number one target so far. Makes it third and three at the 18. So they're in the red zone now. And Mahomes going to throw it left, and it's incomplete. He threw it in double coverage. And the corner definitely looked like he jumped that ball. I don't know why Mahomes would throw that. And they're going to go for it. They're keeping the offense out. So it's fourth and three now. And, okay, that was weird. Javion Clowney just ran to the opposite side after going offside, so they didn't call it. And Kelsey couldn't come down with the ball, so Mahomes and the offense have to come off the field and send the defense back out. And it is first and ten at the 18 for the Ravens. So that whole play was just weird in the beginning. I was so focused on Clowney that I just totally forgot about the rest of the play. But Jackson and the offense are back out, and he's going to drop back. He's going to throw a quick pass to Beckham. That I know. That one's Odell Beckham. So now it's second and four at the 24. The same formation as the formation they scored on. As they're going to hand it off, but he's going to go for about two yards. It makes it third and two at the 26. And Jackson's going to fake the handoff, and he's going to scramble, and it is going to be a tackle for a loss. So a loss of two makes it fourth and four, and they're just going to have to punt it away. Now they can let the clock run out and just let it go to the second quarter, or they can just punt it, and they're just going to punt it. It'll be returned at about the 33, and it'll be down about the 38. So at the end of the first quarter, the Ravens are dominating in this one. The Chiefs had a little spark right there at the end. But they need to really balance their offense out because the Chiefs have 19 pass plays to zero running plays. The Ravens are leading 17-0. Hoping to make it... Well, the Chiefs are hoping to make it 17-7 as they do their first run of the game. And it was gain of three. So it makes it second and seven at the 41. Mahomes alone in the backfield. So he's going to flip the play. As he drops back, he's going to throw it over the middle. And he has Kelsey open, who's going to get to the opposite side of the field. Makes it first and ten at the 41. He's gaining 19 yards. And a first down for the Chiefs. So Mahomes changes the play. And he's going to drop back. He's looking for a man. He's going to throw it deep down the right side, and it's incomplete. He just threw it out of bounds. Let his receiver too far right. So now it's second and ten at the 41. He's going to hand it off to Pacheco. Who's, he has space, and he's going to get the first down. There's a weird stutter step thingy. That makes it first and ten at the twenty-eight. And he's going to hand it off. Gets about four yards, and Travis Kelsey is injured. This is not what the Chiefs want to see. Looks to be with his wrist. So Mahomes is number one. A receiver is heading to the locker room and hopefully he comes back out or the Chiefs can have almost no weapons. Mahomes going to drop back. He's going to throw it right and it's caught by Pacheco who gets about three yards. Makes it third and one at the 19. So they are in the red zone. And this is where they were last time when they got stopped on fourth down. Mahomes is going to pass for it and it's incomplete. I think that was too low, but makes it fourth and one at the 19. So are they going to keep the offense out, or they are? So they're going to keep the offense out, hoping to get this first down, and they have the whole line there. So it looks like it's going to be a run, and it is. Pacheco's going to get the first down and a lot more. 
Makes it first and ten at the 14, so it's a gain of about five. So the Chiefs are driving. As Mahomes going to drop back, he's looking for a man. He's going to throw it right, and he has his man open. I didn't see the number. That's Pacheco, a gain of eight. So second and two at the seven. Mahomes looking for a man. He's going to throw it right. Quick pass to number one. And that's touchdown Chiefs. Who's that? McKinnon? Jarek McKinnon on the reception. That's a seven-yard touchdown pass. And the Chiefs are on the board. So it was a slow start for them, but they picked it up on the last couple drives. And they finally got on the board with the touchdown. So it's 17-6 pending the PAT. He's going to kick it. It's up and it's good. So 17-7 on that 10-play, 64-yard drive. That took four minutes off the clock. The Chiefs kick it off to the Ravens. He's going to return it at about the one-yard line. Gets down to about the 22. So J.K. Dobbins has six rushes for 60 yards, one touchdown. He's averaging 10 yards per carry. That is good. That means every time he touches the ball, he's getting a first down. So even though the Ravens are winning, the Chiefs have more yards on the game. It's because the Ravens have little field the whole game. As he's going to dump it to J.K. Dobbins for a gain of about 9. So it's second and one at the 30. And Jackson faked the handoff, and it looks like he was going to try to run up the middle, but he just got tripped by the defender that tackled Dobbins. So it was a loss of five. Makes it third and six at 26. Jackson's looking for a man. He's going to do a quick pass to the left, and it's incomplete. Out of the hands of Beckham. So it makes it fourth and six, and they're going to have to punt the ball away. It's a weird formation by the Chiefs. So it's a booming kick. It's going to be bear caught at about the 25. And the Chiefs, the Chiefs offense is coming out looking to rep, replicate. Yes, I'm sorry, replicate what they did last drive. He's going to drop back. He's going to throw it right, and he has his receiver, and it's dropped. He got hit as he was going for the catch and just fell out of his hands. Mahomes changing the play. He's going to drop back. He's going to throw it to the right, and it's knocked down by number zero, Smith. So it's third and ten now. Mahomes is looking for a man. He's going to throw it down the left side, and it is caught for a first down down at the 45. That's Kadarius Tony on the reception. So he had separation, and that's what got him the first down. So first and 10 at the 45. Mahomes changes the entire formation. He finds his receiver down the left side. I think that was tight end gray, and it was. So now it's first and 10 at 39. And the Chiefs are driving. As Mahomes changes the formation. He's going to drop back. He's looking for a man. He's going to throw it to the right. And he has a man open. That's number 17, James. So Mahomes is now over 200 yards passing. And it makes a first and 10 at the 24. So this Ravens defense, what was dominant in the first quarter, is kind of dwindling away right now. And he's going to throw it to the right. And it is caught. No, incomplete. So Hamilton knocked the ball out. And Mahomes under center. This looks like it's going to be a handoff. 
And it's not. And he finds it. Is that a lineman? Did he just throw it to a lineman for a touchdown? I think so. Lucas Nyang on the... Yeah, that's the right tackle. So, what was that? They just have him as tight end? That's amazing. Ain't nothing better than big boy touchdowns. Especially in the playoffs. Man. So, he got the reception and got the touchdown, too. So now it's 17-14, and the Chiefs are right back in this game. It was a seven-play, 75-yard drive. And they kick it off to the Ravens, who are going to take it out the, about the front of the end zone. Take it to about the 25, and down at 25. It looked like he had some space, but he got swallowed up almost immediately. So Jackson... It's going to hand it off to Dobbins, who's going to get about four yards on the carry. Makes it second and six at 29. Jackson's dropping back. He's looking for a man. He's going to get sacked. It looked like he was going to scramble out, but he got sacked. So that's a loss of eight. Makes it third and 12 at the 23. So the Chiefs defense has stepped up since the first quarter too. And it's just like an entirely different game. As Jackson scrambled right and threw it to number 15. Is that Flowers? No, that's no Snagler. Once again, I don't know numbers, so I'm just taking guesses. Trying to figure out what players I know and what players I don't. So now it's first and ten at the 41. And he's going to fake the handoff, and Mars going to take it. And he's going to get tackled for about a six-yard gain. So he still has negative rushing yards after those two uh, failed rushing attempts. But it's second and four now. And as Jackson's going to hand it off to Dobbins, who's going to get first down and a lot more. And it's first and ten at the opposing, the opposing team's 40. I don't know why I said all that. I could just say Chiefs 40, but oh well. So they've been pretty balanced so far this game. 11 rushes, 9 passes. Make that 10. As Jackson's going to throw it over the middle. And he has Andrews open who breaks first tackle and gains about 20 yards. So now it's first and 10 at the 20. And the cheat here, not the Chiefs, the Ravens are in the red zone. Jackson throws it left and it is picked off by Tranquil. So that is a drive and momentum killer. Drew Tranquil. Just threw it and he was just right there. He was right place, right time. He was in his zone, dropped right in front of the receiver and got the pick. So now it seems like it's a total momentum shift as the Chiefs have everything going for them at the moment so this quarter has definitely been theirs as he hands it off to Pacheco who's going to get about one yard so it makes it second and nine at the 15 Mahomes drops back he's looking for a man he's going to throw it to the left he has Kadarius Tony open who gets the first down down to about the 30 so it's a 15 yard gain Makes it first and ten at the thirty, as we're cro approach approaching the two-minute warning. So he's gonna hand it off to Pacheco. Excuse me, that wasn't Pacheco. That was McKinnon. I thought I saw a zero, but it was a one. And that'll be the two-minute warning. The Chiefs have the ball in this two-minute drill, and they are hoping to tie or take the lead. As the score is 17 to 14. So back in the game, we got the Chiefs. Mahomes changing the play or calling audibles or whatever he's doing. He's going to be an RPO and it's going to be a first down. He faked the handoff and he threw a quick pass and they're going to go no huddle offense. 
So he's going to look. He's going to throw the check down to McKinnon, who gets about nine yards, makes a second and one at the 49. So they hurry up to the line of scrimmage. Mahomes drops back. He's going to throw a quick pass to 11. That is about a scantling. So it's first 10 at the 46. So they hurry up to the line. I'm not going to say that every time because they're going to do it every time. And he's going to throw a pass to Kadarius Tony, who gets the first down after he broke the first tackle. So it's first and 10 at 35 now. He's looking for a man. He's going to throw it left, and it's off the mark. That's probably good because that lets him slow down and actually pick a play. So Mahomes in shotgun, alone in the backfield. He's got trips left, and they have two receivers lined up right on top of each other. That's weird, and he's going to throw it out of bounds. He had too much pressure in his face, and he had to get rid of it. So it's third and ten at 35 with 45 left on the clock. So Mahomes changes the play, it looks like. He's going to drop back, and he's going to get sacked. Came right down the middle. And it's 4th and 16 at the 41. I don't know if they're going to go for it. I doubt they are, and they're probably going to send out. Yeah, they have the field goal unit out for about a 58-yard field goal. And the Ravens aren't even going to call a timeout. They're just going to let it go to the half. And the Chiefs are going to kick it, and it is good. So the game is now tied going into halftime, 17-17. And what a turn of events it was. The Ravens looked like they were going to try to run away with it, but then the Chiefs' defense stepped up, which gave their offense time to adjust and collect themselves. And here we go. Here's the divisional rounds. So we have the Ravens' Chiefs playing right now, and later it will be the Raiders versus Chargers in that divisional matchup. So it could be possible that the AFC Championship game is a divisional game as the AFC West is kind of dominating the, the playoffs. And so here's a couple plays. It might be the pick six, and it is. So that was the second play of the game. As we come back out, the Ravens will get the second half kickoff, and the Chiefs kick it off to them now. They were turning at about the end zone. And he's going to get down about the 22. So in today's game, J.K. Dobbins is 8 rushes for 77 yards, a touchdown, and averaging 9.6 yards per carry. Now can the Ravens get something going? It's a new half, new game. It's all tied up, so it's practically 0-0. And he gets five yards on the first carry. Dobbins does. Makes it 17-17. So it's second and five for the 27. And it's going to be a fake handoff. And Jackson has it. And he has space. And he jukes a man. And he gets tackled for about 16 yards. Makes it first and ten at the 43. It looked like he had space, but I guess he... Uh, Slowed down after that uh, juke and got caught as he throws over the middle. And he has a wide open man, and that's a touchdown. He just got past the safeties, and that was Nelson Aguilar on the catch, first of all. And just like that, the Ravens are in the lead. Like, he just throws it over the middle, past the safeties. He just, that was just blown coverage by the Chiefs. I don't even know what route he ran. But it looks like they stepped up thinking it was going to be a short pass or a run. And he just took the top off. And uh, Raven's going to kick it, and it's good. So it's 24-17, and that was a three-play 78-yard drive. As the Ravens kick it off to the Chiefs, and they are going to knee it, so it's going to be down at 25. So it's first and ten at twenty-five. Checko in motion. Or at least he just flips sides. It's gonna be a quick pass to number eleven, who's going to get about four yards.
Mahomes alone in the backfield. He has trips left. He's going to drop back. He's going to throw a quick pass to number 83 for about five yard gain. Makes third and one at 34. And he's going to do a quick pass to the left, and they're going to get the first down. Is that Valda Scantling? It is. So Valda Scantling got the first down on that quick pass, or RPO it looked like. So it's first and 10 at the 35 now. And it's going to be a handoff to Pacheco, who's going to go nowhere. Stopped at, stopped, stopped at the line. Makes it second and 10. Mahomes drops back. He's looking for a man. He's going to throw it to the right, and it was almost picked off. But he jumped it a little too early. And Valdez Scantling was able to grab it and get the first down. As Mahomes is now over 300 yards passing. So it's first and 10 at the 48. He's going to drop back. He's going to throw it over the middle to his tight end. And it's going to be a gain of six. So second and four at the 46 now. And Kelsey is still not out here, so Chiefs fans are worried that it might be something serious with him. So he hands, as Mahomes hands it off to Pacheco, who loses about four yards. Or one yard. He loses one yard. I don't know where I got four from. So third and six at the 49 now. Mahomes looks for a man. He's going to throw it over the middle. He has him open. And he took a hit, and... No, he's not injured. He decided to take his time get up. That was James on the reception, who's nearing 100 receiving yards. He was able to break the first tackle and just gets pummeled. Just absolutely hit-sticked by the safety. So Mahomes and shotgun. Check out to his left. Man in motion. It's going to be a toss to the man in motion. Was going to fumble it, and the lineman recovered it, so it was a loss of two, but that could have been way worse. Makes it second and 12 to 33. As Mahomes is going to fake the handoff to Pacheco, he's going to throw it to the right, and he has man open. That's the same person who fumbled it last play. That would be Valdez Scantling. So it's third and three at the 25. Trips left. Mahomes going to throw a quick pass to the left, and it is knocked out. He took a hit as he was trying to catch that, and he just could not hold on. So it's fourth and three at the 25. And they are going to kick the field goal. They're going to take the points. The kick is up, and it is good. So the score is now 24-20 with the Ravens having a chance to extend their lead. So then this four-point game, the Chiefs are going to uh, kick it off to the Ravens. And they are going to return it past the 10 and down at about the 18-yard line. So it's going to be first and 10 at the 18. And Dobbins today is 9 rushes, 82 yards, 1 touchdown, averaging 9.1 yards per carry. KC is nearing 350 yards on the game. And Jackson's going to hand it off to Dobbins, who's going to break the first tackle, get about 5 yards. He didn't break the tackle, he just went down with the tackler. So 2nd and 5 at the 23. Jackson's going to do a toss to the motion man, the receiver, and that goes nowhere. So they tried to do exactly what the Chiefs did, except this time they lost a yard. And it was Nelson Aguilar, who's nearing 100 receiving yards. So it's third and four now at the 24. He's going to do a quick pass to the right. And he has a man open. That would be, is that Flowers? No, that's Rashad Bateman, I think. I'm going to say yes. So Rashad Bateman got injured on the play, but was able to celebrate right after before being taken to the 
to the locker room. So Jackson's going to hand it off, and he's going to get swallowed up immediately. That was Gus Edwards on the carry. That's a loss of three. Tranquil was just back there almost immediately. Took the lineman with him. So second and 13 at the 38. Jackson's going to drop back. He's going to throw it over the middle, and he has his man uh, Edwards open. I hope his last name's Edwards. I totally forgot. Like, I just had a brain fart. Yeah, oh, it's Andrews, not Edwards. Why did I say Edwards? It's Mark Andrews. I had, like, a total brain fart. It was Edrews on the tackle. How about that? So I knew there was an Edrews uh, involved in that play. As the first down play is going to be a handoff for about four yards. Makes it second and six at the 40. And he's going to hand it off to Dobbins, who's going to gain about two yards. Makes it third and fourth, 38. Jackson's going to drop back. He's going to do a quick pass to the right, and it's knocked out. So that was an incompletion, and they're probably going to bring out the field goal unit to make this a seven-point game. So it is a 55-yard field goal. And it is up, and it is good. No doubt in my mind he was going to be able to hit that. So the score is now 27-20 to with... Maybe under three minutes left in the second quarter. No, a little over three minutes in the third quarter. Wow, I'm all over the place right now. So the Chiefs are going to knee it in the end zone. So it's going to be down at 25. And the Chiefs have a chance to tie this game up again. And it's going to he's going to change the formation like that. He was quick to that line of scrimmage. Mahomes under center now. He's going to drop back. He's going to do a quick pass to his tight end. Who's going to get? Who's going to break first tackle and get the first down? No, he's just an inch short. So it makes it second and inches at 35. Mahomes under center again. Mahomes is going to drop back. He's going to throw it to the left, and he has. Oh, that was a good play by the defense. He had a receiver open, but Humphreys just jumped the ball and knocked it down. So third and inches now. Mahomes going to drop back, and he's going to do a quick pass to Tony, I think, and is incomplete. So on third and inches, they couldn't get it, and it's going to result to fourth and inches. See, I would have just done a run play or a QB sneak or something to pick it up, but Chiefs are a very pass-heavy team. As they punt it away to the Ravens, who going to get it to 15. And they are going to have space, and he's going to get down to about the 30, so a 15-yard return. And Dobbins today is 12 rushes, 93 yards, one touchdown, and seven, an average of 7.7 .7 yards per carry. So about 8 yards per carry is really good, because you only need to run twice in order to get first down. As Jackson's going to hand it off to him. And he is going to get stopped at the line. So it's second and ten now. And he's going to hand it off to Dobbins. He's going to get tackled in the backfield for a two-yard loss. Makes it third and 12 to 28. So it looks like the Chiefs are really cracking down on the run. And Jackson's going to drop back. He's going to roll left. And he's going to throw it deep down the field. And it is caught. That was Beckham. The DB just kept running. And Beckham stopped and caught the ball. And that was a good throw by Jackson. Seeing that he had pressure all in his face. Almost a sack for Jones. And what might have been considered an underthrow was just right there. He had to stop his route. But he was... Kind of just playing the ball. So it makes it first and 10 to the Chiefs 27. 
It's going to do a quick pass to Andrews, who's going to hold on for a gain of four. And that'll do it for the third quarter. So upset alert here in Arrowhead Stadium as the number seven seed Ravens are up 27-20 against the number one seed Chiefs. And it all comes down to this fourth quarter. The Ravens can score on this drive. They'll have a pretty nice cushion as he's going to hand it off to Dobbins again, who's going to be down about a gain of six. That wasn't first and ten. That was not first and ten. I apologize. It was about two-yard gain. So it's third and four now. He's going to hand it off to Dobbins again. He's going to get one yard, makes it fourth and three. And they're probably going to bring out the kicker, Justin Tucker. So the defense is ready for the run, and they stop it. And they are going to kick it, so Tucker's out. It's going to be about a 37-yard field goal. It's up, and it is good. So the score is now 30-20, to 20, and the Ravens are up 10 against the Chiefs. So that's, you know, that's still a cushion, but they would probably would have preferred 14-point cushion rather than 10. So the Ravens kick it off to the Chiefs. They're going to get it, and they're going to need it in the end zone. So they have 13 minutes and 44 seconds to come back. Will the Chiefs be able to do it? Mahomes is, you know, no stranger to making comebacks in the playoffs. Pretty sure he's done it his entire career. As he drops back, he's going to throw it over the middle. And he's going to have, I didn't see who it was. He's getting a four. So the Ravens and takeaways are ranked nine. And in this game, they have two. And both of them came in the first quarter. As Mahomes drops back, he's going to do a quick pass, and it's incomplete. Just off the mark for his receiver. So they have passed 52 times and only ran 8. That's wild. As Mahomes looking for a man, he's going to throw it over the middle, and it's picked off! I can't see the number, so I don't know who it is. Number 14. That's Hamilton. That's the second one of the game. And now, just like that, the Ravens are on plus side, to plus, I don't know. They're on the Chiefs' territory. Just like that, the momentum is flipped. As Hamilton gets his second interception of the game. And the Ravens are coming out hoping to extend this lead. Put a touchdown. A kick field goal, anything really. And he's going to hand it off to uh, Dobbins. Gets about one yard. And the main goal for the Ravens this drive is to waste as much clock as they possibly can. They do not want to give the Chiefs a chance with the ball. As he hands it off to Dobbins, who has space down the middle. And he's going to cut outside, and he has space. No one's around him, and he's going to score. That's his second touchdown of the game. And that definitely puts him over 100 yards rushing on the game. Just look at that. He had a beautiful hole up the middle, and he decided to cut it to the outside. The DB could not catch him, and he's going to score just like that. So they didn't waste as much clock as they wanted to, but they got a touchdown, and that makes this a 17-point game. Two plays, 39 yards, 43 seconds off the clock. So the Chiefs are kind of crumbling right now. As he's going to get it, he's going to knee it in the end zone. So it'll be down at the 25. Chiefs coming out, trying to score a touchdown. They need to score every chance they get. There's Mahomes and shotgun. It's going to drop back. He's going to throw it to Pacheco, and it's incomplete. And there's an injury in the play from Kansas City. It's Creed Humphrey. And Mahomes looking for a man. He's going to throw it to the right, and it's incomplete. That was too low for his receiver. That looked like it was at his ankles. Up 
Mahomes drops back. He's looking for a man. He's going to throw it down the right side, and it's caught. That was in double coverage, but he came down with it. That was Valdez Scantling. Oh, he was on the run, too, when he made that, so good on him. I've yet to see the diving animation. One where he's like, just dives and throws it. I've yet to see that. I really want to see it, though. So now it's first and ten at the Ravens 47. As Mahomes drops back, he's going to throw it down the middle, and it's picked off. It was tipped up, and it was picked off now. So they just played volleyball with the ball, and the Ravens came down with it. And Mahomes is upset. That was Demarion Williams with the interception. So it bounces off the tight end's helmet, and it's just picked off by Williams. He teleported to that ball and got it. So the Ravens have all momentum in this game. As J.K. Dobbins has 133 rush yards, four receptions, or four receiving yards, and a total of 137 yards in the game. So that is the first their fourth turnover by the Chiefs this game. As he hands it to Dobbins, who finds another finds a lot of space down the middle, and he gets the first down, makes it first and ten at the 40. So the Ravens are really looking to put this game away. I don't think the Chiefs have a chance, but as an announcer, I'm going to try to show no bias. As he's going to hand it off to Dobbins again, who's going to get about a yard. So that's 20 rushes on the game for him. So maybe that's a reason that they're, you know, he has so many yards, he's ran 20 times. And he's going to fake the handoff. Jackson's going to keep it, and he's going to lose a yard. Makes it third and ten at the 40. And this stadium is quiet. Usually one of the loudest stadiums in the league. And it's almost a ghost town. So Jackson's going to fake the handoff. And he's going to keep it himself. And he's going to get one yard. So fourth and nine at the 41. They're going to have to punt it away. And the punter is looking to pin them deep in the... Uh, end zone, or red zone, my mistake. Or realistically inside the 10. Or even more realistically inside the 5, but I don't know if he has leg for that. I don't know who their punter is. So he's going to get it, he's going to have trouble with the snap, and it was almost blocked, but he got the punt off. And it's going to bounce at the 10, it's going to roll into the end zone. So the Chiefs are going to get it at the 20. Down 17, the Chiefs are going to have to score right now and hope that their defense can stop him. As Mahomes is going to look for a man, he's going to scoot forward, he's going to throw it, and it's caught wide open as his tight end. So it's first and ten at the 42. Mahomes looking for a man. He's going to throw it to the right, and it is incomplete. The hit knocked it out. So second and ten at the 42 now. Mahomes alone in the backfield. He's looking for a man again. He's going to throw it to the right and he has Pacheco open who gets the first down. That's his 60th pass on the game. Wild. And he's going to throw a quick pass to Pacheco, and it's incomplete. He had the ball, but it got knocked out with the hit. So Mahomes looking for another man. It's probably just going to be him passing the rest of the game. And he finds his tight end open, who gets the first down. So it's first and ten at 34. Mahomes going to do a quick pass to number 88. I think that's his first time you know, catching anything this game. I'd be incorrect. That's his second. Fortson on the uh, reception. Mahomes loading in the backfield. He's going to throw a quick pass to the outside. That's Pacheco for a first down. So it's first and 10 at 22. So some life has been uh, brought back in the stadium. 
It might be too little, too late. Mahomes looking for a man. He's going to throw it over the middle, and he has him wide open. That's 17. That's a... Uh, uh, I forgot his name already. James. And he's now over 100 yards, actually. So it's first and goal at the two. And Mahomes going to drop back. He's going to find a man. And no, it's incomplete. That was almost an interception. That could have been very costly. So second and goal now. He's going to hand it off to Pacheco. And he's going to walk in for a touchdown. So two-yard run by Isaiah Pacheco. Leads to the Chiefs being down by only... 11. And they're going to kick the field goal. Hoping to make it a 10 point game. And it will be. So it's 37 27 on that 10 play 80 yard drive. And it looks like they're going to do a normal kickoff. And they're going to return it past the 10. Past the 20. No down at the 20. So it's going to be first and 10 at the 20, and the Ravens are just looking to run clock. And there's an injury. Oh, the kicker got injured. Townsend. That's weird. Must have been in on that tackle, and I didn't even notice it. And Lamar's going to do a quick toss to the motion man, 13, who gets about two yards on that, second and eight at the 21. Duvernay on the reception. As Jackson's going to drop back, he's going to throw it to the right. He has Andrews, but there is a flag. So let's see what it is. And that'll be a roughing the passer call on Derek Noddy. So that's going to give him a fresh set of downs, and they're down at 36. So it's first and 10 now. He's going to hand it off to Dobbins, who's going to get tackled for a loss at 3. So second and three at the 33. And he's going to hand it off to Dobbins again, who's going to get about one yard. Makes it third and 12 at the 34. So don't even think about throwing it. Just run it. Waste clock. Let the clock go down two before you punt it. And Lamar is going to roll right, no left, and he's going to throw it, and it's incomplete. So that makes it 4th and 12, and they're going to have to punt it away. So it's a little under 3 minutes, specifically 2 minutes 49 seconds. So that's more than enough time for the Chiefs to come back in this game. But will they be able to is the question, as they're going to fair catch it at about the 20-yard line. Mahomes comes out. I don't know his record of, you know, comeback wins. I don't... I didn't think it was going to be a comeback for the Chiefs. And he's going to motion three receivers to the left side. He's going to have trips left now. As Mahomes drops back, he's going to throw it over the middle, and it is caught by Kadarius Toney for seven yards. And they're going to go no huddle all the way. And he's looking for May. He's going to throw it over the middle again. That's Tony. So same play, same result. First down this time. First and 10, 36. He's going to look. He's going to throw it to the right. And he has Decadarius Tony again. And that's a two-minute warning. The Chiefs have the ball, and they are driving. But will it be too little too late as the Ravens are up 37-27? I guess we'll have to see. So yes, that was Kadarius Tony on the last reception. And that's Kadarius Tony on this reception too. So that's four plays Kadarius Tony. This is his drive. As Mahomes is going to look for a man, he's going to throw it deep down the right side, and that's caught by James. That was a contested catch, but he was able to hold on. As Mahomes is over 500 yards passing now. And that's going to be an incomplete pass. Mahomes has thrown it 72 times. That is crazy. Pretty sure that's a record. I don't think any team's done that. 
Mahomes dropping back. He's going to throw it over the middle. He has a man open. That is James again who gets the first down. So it's first and goal at the five with a minute left. And they are going to throw it to the right. And that's a touchdown. So no one turn away and turn off the game yet. It's Valdez Scantling. Marquez Valdez Scantling on the reception and touchdown. It's a five yard touchdown, by the way. But this game is now getting good. As the Chiefs pending PAT, only down by three. So they have three timeouts. Would they kick the onside and just play defense, or would they just kick it off and just play defense from there? And they're going to go for the onside. Will they be able to recover it, or will the defense stand strong? And it is going to be recovered. That was really close to not being a Ravens ball. He had two people go around that ball. Hmm. Chiefs almost had a miracle, but they still have a chance. they got to stop the Ravens' rushing game, which they've done pretty well on these past couple drives. They have 57 seconds before the game is over. As Lamar is coming out. So they're probably just going to have all the big boys. Yeah, they have all the big boys out. It's going to be a handoff to is that Edwards, who gets about two yards, and there's a timeout by the Chiefs. No surprise. Jackson and shotgun. He's going to hand it off, and it will be tackled for one-yard gain, third and seven. Chiefs call their second timeout. And Jackson's going to hand it off to Dobbins, who gets the first down and more. And that will end the game as they come out in victory formation. And the Baltimore Ravens have upset two teams already in this playoff. I don't think they have to... No, they have to run one more play. And that will do it for this one as the Baltimore Ravens stun the Chiefs 37-34 with some almost magic happening at the end for the Chiefs. They were down by 17, but they lost by 3. And the F Super Bowl champions are going to have to... Well, they'll be watching the Super Bowl this year from home. As the Ravens move on to the AFC Championship, and one of these next games will determine who they're facing. No matter who they're facing, they're going to be away. So it's either going to be in Los Angeles against the Chargers, or in Las Vegas against the Raiders. So let's uh, let's take a look at the stats. We'll go Chiefs first. So Patrick Mahomes went 50 of 74 for 538 yards, three touchdowns, three interceptions, with a long of 28 and a QB rating of 85.3. Rushing, Isaiah Pacheco had seven attempts, 23 yards. Jarek McKinnon had a better average of four but Pacheco had one touchdown and along the 13 receiving Richie James Jr. had oh and Marquez Valdez Scantling both had 10 yard or 10 receptions Richie James Jr. had 144 yards averaging excuse me Lucas Niang the right tackle had the highest average 24 oh that's amazing and Jarek McKinnon, Marquez Valdez Scantling, and Lucas Niang all had a touchdown. And the longest reception was Marquez Valdez Scantling with 28. Blocking, Wanya Morris, Creed Humphrey, and Trey Smith all had one pancake. And Jawan Taylor let up a sack. Defensive, Justin Reed had 13 tackles, total tackles. Truman Jones, the rookie, had two tackles for loss losses. And Derek Noddy and Truman Jones, oh, he's from Harvard? That's cool. Had Both had half a sack. As Drew Tranquil had an interception that went nowhere. I don't think there was a fumble or blocks or anything. And kicking, Harrison Butker went two for two on field goals. Long 58 and 4 for 4 on PATs. Punting Tommy Townsend, who was injured, weirdly enough, had two punts for 99 yards. 
averaging 49 and a half yards per punt with a net punting yards of 79 and a net average 39 and a half with a long of 51. Kick return, Richie James Jr. had three kick returns for 67 yards, averaging 22.3 yards per carry or per return and a long of 25. Punt return, he had one punt return for four yards, averaging four yards with longest of four. That'll be the Chiefs. Let's look at the Ravens. Lamar Jackson went 14-21, 217 yards, one touchdown, one interception, with a long of 57 and a QB rating of 96.7. Rushing, J.K. Dobbins had 24 attempts for 153 yards, averaging 6.3 yards per carry, with two touchdowns and a long of 38. Receiving, Nelson Aguilar had five receptions for 91 yards. OBJ had 25 and a half uh, average yards per reception. Nelson Aguilar had the touchdown. And the long was Nelson Aguilar of 57. Blocking, Ronnie Stanley had three pancakes. Just look at this offense. They had a total of six, seven, eight, nine. They had a total of nine pancakes. That is wild. But Ronnie Stanley did let up a sack. Defensive, Roquan Smith had 17 total tackles. Patrick Queen and Geno Stone both had two tackles for losses. When Patrick Queen and David Ojabo had both had one sack each. And Al Hamilton had the two interceptions, averaging 51 yards, or with 51 yards, averaging 25 and a half, with a long of 44. And he had the touchdown too. So kicking, Justin Tucker went 3 for 3 with a long of 55 and 4 for 4 PATs. Punting, Jordan Stout had 4 punts for 197 yards, averaging 49.2 yards per punt, and a net punting yards of 172, a net average of 43, and a long of 59. Kick return, Devin DuVernay had 5 returns for 107 yards, averaging 21.4 yards per return, and a long of 25. Punt returns, Devin DuVernay had two punt returns for 21 yards, averaging 10.5 yards per return, long of 13. And that'll do it on stats. So the Baltimore Ravens will be moving on to the AFC Championship game. Now me, I personally don't think that this will happen. But, you know, this is a Madden Sim. A lot of crazy stuff happens. And the real question is, would the Chiefs have done better had Travis Kelsey not been injured. Let's, uh, let's see. I don't think there's a way I can see. Never mind. But he did get injured in like the first quarter. Which really took a blow. To the Chiefs offense. But anyways. Thank you for watching. And I will be. Back on the Madden Sim here shortly. And until then. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.